Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Transformer Siege, War for Cybertron. This is Starscream. So let's go ahead and move him out of the way real quick. We'll take a look at the package. Uh, that side, same as usual. Side, you got Starscream there. He is a Voyager class, as it says right there uh, on the box there back of the box I mean pretty cool uh, top you got the Decepticon logo now something that it does not mention on the box or in the in the instructions that I thought was pretty cool I wanted to get this out of the way right off the bat uh, because you can't really tell once it's in transforming mode but you remember the old uh, superpowers figures. Dark side, if you shined a light in the uh, top of his head, uh, his eyes glowed. Well, oh. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn this light off real quick. Can you see that? Let's go ahead and turn this other light off real quick. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Pretty cool. I like it. And that is right there. Just uh, gives them glowing eyes. Pretty cool. Now, <clears throat> it does come with or directions. I'm going to see if I can do this without the directions because I did just uh, work on transforming him. He isn't that difficult to transform. Now, something I don't like is, number one, this part right here really serves no purpose. I mean, yeah, it looks like Starscream, but in the original cartoon, he turned into an actual jet. And this was the cockpit, you know. Now, this figure, it he transforms into more of a starfighter type deal. Which is fine, but what purpose does this part serve? Uh, I found during transforming, it really just gets in the way and it detaches quite frequently it's one of my main nitpicks one of my only nitpicks really is that it doesn't really serve a purpose and it, it's pegged in there so loosely it, it just gets in the way as you can see he does come with two blasters which we'll go ahead and take those out for right now I do like him he's they made him fairly weathered just like uh, Megatron and Optimus uh, some battle damage the paint scraping off whatever you want to call it uh, pretty cool now with him first thing you want to do is his arms open up just like this now you're gonna want his fists just like this any other way and it won't close back up okay so you're gonna want the fists just like that all right so you open this side up you rotate it the fist around close it back up same thing with this side try and do it to where you guys can see rotate it up close it all right now you've got a dual uh, gear type deal here on in the uh, elbow joint 
what that does is it rotates it back and down so that the arm folds up into itself. Rotate back and down, all right? And you're gonna want the side that has the two slots in it to be on the inside because it, they're gonna peg in to those right there, okay? So then after you do that, now when you get them out of the package, this part here is more than likely gonna be up like that. It works either way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I usually have it like this because it fits better on my shelf like that. If I were to put it like this, and it does clip in right there, then he's just too too bulky to fit with the rest of my transformers on the shelf. Very tight area. So either way, but you're going to want to make sure when you're transforming it, you put it back up like that. Okay? Once that's done, you disconnect these pieces right here okay and they're very long pegs see how long they are right there just pull them straight out and then you bring them down and they clip together see the slots there they clip together just like that, all right? Once that's done, you bring this out. And see this gray piece right here? Kind of have to fold his wings up. This gray piece right here, you bring that up and it clips on the back of Starscream's head. And then you fold it down I'm not sure see what I mean if you fold it all the way in this chest piece comes undone and you can't really can't really get his head all the way in there even though it looks better all the way in once it's fully transformed so we're gonna see how that goes for right now. All right. Then you're gonna to wanna to turn the waist all the way around. All right. Bring his feet in just like that. Now, this part here, it goes in. It's not hollow like some Transformers I've seen. And that's so that, you see this gear here? It can go up. And this part slides right in there. And it's kind of tough. And it's the same way on both sides. There we go. Now, these two slots here are going to peg right in this this part is probably the toughest part there same with this side there we go and then we bring this down just like that And the wings clip in. Just like that. Then you can take these guns, peg them into the bottom of the wings. There. Now see what I mean? He he doesn't look like a jet like he does in the uh, G1 cartoon. 
he looks more like a star a starfighter really which is weird because like I said what is this cockpit for why didn't they just design him to look like a regular jet and see if you don't unclip this part then his face is very visible which is it, it I mean if you got him like this or like this I guess it's okay but you know it, if you like to play with your transformers or whatever then you're gonna notice the uh, the face sticking out the back but like I said I would have preferred it if they made him look like a regular jet and had that part there as the cockpit like like it should be I mean otherwise it serves no purpose at all really um, but yeah that's just in my opinion uh, but I do I do like it, it it's okay uh, I prefer him in robot mode as opposed to the starfighter mode uh, so what do you guys think which do you prefer would you prefer starstream to be an actual jet or a starfighter like this Leave your opinion in the comments below and let me know. Uh, so anyway, there you have it, guys. There's Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Starscream. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.